Hello, this is Marcy McDonald from West Fannin Elementary School. I'm the fourth grade um, math teacher, and I just wanted to go over with um, you one of our strategies that we use for multiplication, for multi-digit multiplication. Um, this is a strategy many parents may not be familiar with because we learn more of the traditional way. Um, I'm going to just share with you a few reasons as we're going through this why we um, like the box method and why um, we kind of lean towards teaching that instead of the traditional way that you and I probably have um, learned in, in school. Um, so let me just start by showing you what we do first. Here's our first problem, 32 by, times 45. Well, this actually teaches, which is another fourth grade standard, um, kids to expand numbers. They get to realize and learn that 32 um, that each number in 32, the ones place and the tens place, has a value. The 2 is a 2, and the 3 actually represents 30. So it does not matter if I start on this side or this side um, for the number, but I'm going to expand 32 again and say um, the 3 represents a 30, and the 2 in the ones place just represents a 2. And I'm going to draw a line to separate those two place values. And when you add them back together, bring them back together, it's 32. And I'm going to do the same thing with 45, and I'm going to do it here. I could have done it up here, but the 4 represents 40, and the 5 represents 5. So 40 plus 5 is 45. And again, I'm going to draw a line to separate those two place values. And when I do this box, I just created four little boxes, and those are going to be called partial products. Okay, multiplication has a product as an answer, but before we get the final product here, we're going to have four partial products. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just, I'm going to start on the top, and you can cover up the bottom if you'd like, so it's less confusing. Once the kids get this, they get it, and they run with it. And we know a little trick, four times three is 12, and we add two zeros. And then I'm going to take the same number, and I'll multiply here. 4 times 2 is 8, and add a 0. Okay? Then I'm just going to swap to the bottom and do the same. I'm going to do 5 times 30. 5 times 3 is 15, add a 0. And 5 times 2 is 10. So now I have my four partial products, and to get my final product, I'm going to need to add these together. So what I really like about this, it really shows that we have 1,200, 80, 150, and 10, and we can just add up those products together to get a total. So some kids are getting really good about mental math. You, they can add it any way they like. Sometimes they like to add all four. Sometimes they add two and two. Um, however, as long as we end up with the same final product. I usually like to do greatest to least, but it does not matter. As long as they're lining up their ones, their tens, they will get a final product. So 1,440 is our final product. When we do this box method versus the traditional way, when I would do the traditional way, I'd say two times five is 10, carry, and then 5 times 3 is 15, add 1, 16. I'd have to remember to save a space, a placeholder there, and then 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, and I'd get all of these numbers, but honestly, I had no idea what this meant. I had no idea why a placeholder. So, in my opinion, take it or leave it. I just feel like box method, although different, and it may make you feel uncomfortable than the traditional, really breaks the numbers apart. Kids can say, see, oh, the three and the four, which is a 30 and a 40, can be multiplied together to get 1,200. Okay, so it just, it just makes more sense. So we've just kind of decided this is our focus Nothing is wrong with this. If you do this at home and kids do this, if they would learn better with this, I choose this um, strategy. If a, if a student is having a hard time with this, we'll go with this. It does not matter. But I just feel like for teaching purposes initially that this is the way to go. But nothing is wrong with this, so don't feel that way. All right, let's just move on to a, a larger number. I'm doing a three-digit by two-digit. 235 times 14, and again, I just kind of made my box longer because I have a, lo a larger number, 
So <clears throat> I'm going to choose the longer side for the longer number. So I'm going to break 235 apart. So I got to know the 2 represents 200 plus the 3 represents a 30, has a value of 30, and the 5 has a value of 5. So again, I'm going to draw my lines. And then obviously I'll put 14 on this side and I'm going to expand the 1. It doesn't just represent a 1, it represents a 10 and then plus 4. And so when I add these back, 200 plus 30 plus 5, 235 and 14. Okay. So in this problem, I'm guessing you are seeing that it has six partial products because it is a three digit number. So we're going to have larger partial products. So again, I'm going to do the same. I can cover up the bottom. You don't have to. And I'm going to use my, my multiplying by zeros trick. 1 times 2 is 2 and add 3 zeros. Moving over, 1 times 3 is 3 and add 2 zeros. So 10 times 30 is 300. 1 times 5 is 5 and add a zero. All right, the bottom row. 4 times 200, so I'm going to do 4 times 2 is 8, add 2 zeros. 4 times 30, 4 times 3 is 12, add a 0. And then 4 times 5 is 20. Now I've completed my 6 partial products, so now I need to get or add them up to get a final product. I can add any way I like. I see that I could add um, a cross and I can do this mentally. That's 2,350, 2,350 plus hmm, 920, 940. So it really gets the kids thinking about some mental math here. 800 plus 100 is 900 plus 20 plus 20, 40. So now I'll add up 0, 9, 12, 3, 3,290 is our final product. Now, as you can see, we did um, include a lot of skills. We expanded numbers to get their true value. We multiplied numbers, and then we added numbers to get a final product. So I hope this helps you understand box method so you're not... Um, Mm, so you understand it better. And I just need to reemphasize, there's nothing wrong with the way you and I learn. This is um, more traditional um, and it's, it's a great standard too. Some kids learn better that way too. So we try to offer both. This is the one we start out with just so they get a really good foundation of place value. I hope this um, video helped. Have a great day.